SoftBank's second vision fund hangs in the balance after the first one posted a record $18 billion loss. The Japanese tech giant SoftBank announced the $108 billion vision fund too. Last July, the idea is that it would complement the first $100 billion vision fund, which was announced in 2017. Vision Found, vision found One reported huge losses on Monday after SoftBank wrote down the valuations of companies like Uber and WeWork by billions. The future of SoftBank's second vision fund is in jeopardy after the first one reported record losses of $18 billion on Monday, thanks in large part to the collapsing valuations of firms like Uber and WeWork, which SoftBank has pumped billions of dollars into. My advice to the CEO of um, the chief executive officer, uh, Masayoshi-san, I would advise you to get rid of CEO Dara Koshishawi immediately. The first vision fund launched by SoftBank's founder, uh, Masayoshi-san, in 2017 shocked the tech investment community due to its sheer size. At $100 billion, it was several orders of magnitude larger than any other tech investment fund including those of Silicon Valley heavyweights like Sequoia and Andreessen Horowitz. Uh, more than half of the money comes from contributors like Apple, Qualcomm, Oracle founder Larry Allison, and the Public Investment Fund of the United Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In July 2019, SoftBank shocked tech investors again when it announced plans to create a $108 billion vision fund too, to invest in artificial intelligence, AI, the SoftBank's group pledged to commit $38 billion to Vision Fund 2, while Apple, Microsoft, and Foxconn were all touted as external contributors that would commit the extra billions. Vision Fund 2 is up and running, but only with the $38 billion from the SoftBank group. It made around five investments in the first quarter of 2020, including $250 million bet on pharmacy startup Alto, the second vision fund is less than half the size of what SoftBank said it would be, and its future now hangs in the balance. The performance of Vision Fund 1 is not that great, therefore we decided not to do marketing for Vision Fund 2 for the partners for a while. Sun said on an earnings call earlier this week, he added, if the performance is not very good, then of course the money for Vision Fund 2 cannot be asked for. A son who compared himself to a misunderstood Jesus Christ while defending his investment strategy said that he won't try to raise capital from other companies and individuals until companies in Vision Fund 1 start performing better. Uh, Vision Fund 1 has made big bets on a raft of companies including Uber, ARM, Slack, WeWork, OYO, Improbable and Get Your Guide. In less than three years, the Vision Fund has backed 88 startups with a total of $75 billion. The Vision Fund reported annual losses of $17.7 billion on Monday for the year leading up to March 31, while the SoftBank Group reported annual losses of $13 billion. SoftBank has written down WeWork's valuations from $47 billion a year ago to $2.9 billion today while Uber's valuation has also collapsed by um, over $10 billion in the last year. Cold Feet, the Abu Dhabi state investment company, uh, Mubudala, contributed to the first vision fund, but it's yet to confirm whether it plans to back the second fund. In September, Reuters reported that Mubudala was planning to invest in Vision Fund 2 in the fourth quarter, but nothing was announced. Uh, Mubad Mubadala are super spooked by the performance and obviously they have been uh, an important backer, said a tech investor with knowledge of the situation who wished to stay anonymous as the Vision Fund is a potential downstream investor for their portfolio company. SoftBank is too ill-disciplined. Unfortunately, though, there aren't lots of great options to park your billions somewhere. I'll leave the link for you, but... Um, Indeed, SoftBank is not doing well. Your thoughts?